Hey, what's up guys? So in today's video, I want to share the time I had the cops after me when I was wholesaling houses. All right, guys, so let's get into it. So when I was new to the wholesale game or newer in the earlier days, one of the biggest things we do is put up those We Buy Houses signs. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen them, the big yellow We Buy Houses signs on the side of the road. That was us. And so like when we first started doing it, I'd say the first year, everything was good. We weren't going too crazy, maybe 100 bandit signs every two, three months, something like that. Like we weren't going totally crazy yet with them. And so we thought they were good. You know, we were doing deals from them. And then, you know, we started to amp it up. We're like, hey, you know, instead of 100 every two or three months, let's just, let's put up 100 this month. Let's see what happens. And so that went good. And then the second month when we did the same thing, we're like, oh, let's put another 100 up. Um, then we, that was the beginning of the cops getting onto us, if you will. So the first thing that happened was we got a call on those We Buy Houses signs. And it was actually from somebody just being super sketch. Oh, I got a house, but I want to meet you first. I'm not going to give you the address. I want to meet you first. And we skip traced the phone number, you know, did our homework on because, we, you know, we were getting weird vibes from it. And sure enough, it was the police trying to frame us, set us up to show up to a, you know, a location or whatever to bust us. To backpedal on that, a few weeks prior to that event happening, we were actually getting a lot of calls where they were just trying to get our info, right? They were like, oh, who is this? What company is this with? And, you know, we were smart. We knew that, you know, necessarily not supposed to be putting the We Buy Houses signs up. So we tried to like somewhat be low key on, on who we are as a whole. And so when the, we were getting these calls, they were trying to like crack the code and see who's behind the signs. Now they weren't able to look up exactly who it was or just skip trace the phone numbers because we were using a Google voice number. And so we dodged those bullets. They were never able to meet up with us or trick us into meeting them. And so, you know, we, we just had to kind of move, you know, a little more safe. We, we had to, you know, calculate the steps we were taking. And so after that event, we started to dial it down again. We did 100 every couple months. We wanted to be below the radar. Nothing happened. They kind of stopped calling us. So we thought everything's good. And then, you know, a few more months went by and then we're like, uh, you know, let's amp it up again. So what did we do? We got 300 bandit signs. We put 300 up in one month. Our first month of doing that, it was like starting a war with the zoning officer. We would put them up. The next day, we'd see half of them cut down. So what would we do? we put another 100 up, put them even higher, stand on the roof of my car to put them up. And uh, they just kept taking them down, taking them down. And, and so it was kind of like a game. Like, it was kind of funny at this point. We're like, oh, let's put them so high that they can't get them. After this back and forth was going on for a few weeks, they amped up their game, and then they followed it up with sending this post to me. This is the zoning officers holding our bandit signs, our We Buy Houses signs. At this point, it was probably a little too late for us to stop because we did 300, and then we did another 300 the following month. Our signs were all over town. So we chilled out for a few weeks. We really we weren't looking to get into any trouble. Um, I'm chilling at home, and then my brother, he sends me this video of our We Buy Houses signs on the news. Check this out. You probably have seen the yellow signs at intersections and on telephone poles advertising we buy houses. But one township is cracking down on the person behind the nail gun. News 13's Nicole Walters joins us live in Pocono Township with more from Route 611 in Tannersville. Nicole. Yeah, Ben, Pocono Township police have been asked by the township zoning officer to find out who's behind posting these yellow signs. Have you seen this sign in Pocono Township? Police put that message on their Facebook page asking for locations of the signs. It has been brought to the attention of our department because of the zoning officer making a complaint that all these signs are basically being put up. Detective Tom Linett is trying to figure out who is behind the operation We Buy Houses. We have ordinance in Pocono Township about the placing of signs. You have to go through a whole procedure and these people are circumventing and just sticking the signs up sometimes in the middle of the night, I guess. But it isn't a quick process and it hasn't been easy. The numbers on the signs are assigned from one company and then that company told us that these numbers they basically have sold to uh, Google and Google we have to get more paperwork and documentation from them so they can tell us who they assign those numbers to. Now this is where it gets kind of wild so after I watched that video of me being on the news I was like, crap, man, a detective's after me. Like, I'm, I'm kind of in trouble. So I, I try to be as low-key as I can. I, I wasn't posting. I wasn't picking up the calls that were coming in from that. 
just trying to like get out of this whole situation and hide from it really until that detective showed up at my door. So he knocks at my door. He's like, Hey, are you Eric Schmidt? I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's me. So we started talking and I actually got extremely lucky in this situation. So he started asking me a bunch of questions and I got talking, me being the salesperson I am, I just did what I do best. My girlfriend at the time, her dad was a police officer and I just thought I'd throw his name out there. And so I did, I'm like, hey, do you know blah, blah, blah? And he's like, oh yeah, I know him. As soon as I said his name, the detective's whole demeanor changed. A smile went on his face and then he he ended up just chit-chatting, tell me a bunch of stories about times that they've had. We started laughing, just talking about whatever. And he was like, look, to be honest, the zoning officer was just crying to me about all these signs that they got to go take them down. I really don't care. If you're going to do it, just do it in the town over. After that whole encounter, I stopped putting the signs up. You know, I threw his name out there. I don't want to make him look bad. And obviously this detective, he knows where I live now. So it's better to be safe than sorry. If you guys like content like this, let me know down in the comments. I have a lot of crazy stories that just crazy things happen in the eight and a half years that I've been doing this. Keeps it fun though. Until then guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.